So another very interesting problem and what's given in this problem is that there is one mass A and there's another mass B. And it's given that mass A, which is, let's say, this, is twice the mass of mass B. So if this is M, this is 2M. What's also given is that the two are connected through a spring and the spring is in a compressed condition so that the compressed energy of the spring is 60 joules. Now, these two masses are let go, the spring is released so that both the masses move in opposite direction in such a way that the entire energy of the spring is given to mass A and mass B. And the question is, what is the kinetic energy of the two masses after the release? So this is a very nice question which will make use of both the conservation of mechanical energy as well as the conservation of momentum to find solution to this problem. So how we'll start is that first we will realize that the entire system was at rest and therefore the initial momentum of the system was zero. And the final momentum of the system was, let us say, ma, which is the mass of a into velocity of a, which is the velocity after the spring is let go, plus mass b into velocity of mass b. And if we substitute the values, we know that mass a is twice that of mass b. So we'll put 2mva plus mvb. And what we get is vb is equal to minus 2VA, which essentially means that both are moving in opposite direction since the sign on the right hand side is negative and the absolute velocity of B is twice that of VA. So here we've made use of conservation of linear momentum. And now we'll also establish the conservation of mechanical energy. So the mechanical energy before masses were let go was 60 joules, which was compressed in the spring and this should equal to the kinetic energy of both the masses put together. So the kinetic energy of mass A would be half into m, which is 2m into Va square, plus the kinetic energy of mass B, which would be half into m into Vb square. And if we put Vb is equal to minus 2Va, what you get is 60 is equal to mva square you can see this is cancelled plus half into m into 4va square because 2va would become 4va square when you substitute over here and therefore what you can say is that mva square is equal to 20 and kinetic energy of mass A is given as half into m, which is 2m into Va square, which is equal to mva square. And we've just calculated mva square is 20. So we can say that kinetic energy of mass A is equal to 20 joules and the kinetic energy of mass B would therefore be equal to 60 joules minus 20 joules, which is equal to 40 joules.